Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Seat Within. I'm your host, Dr. Savvy, and today we've got a special program on SICRI, Seek Research Institute, based over in the States. Now, we're very honored to have a whole group of people that have come over uh, to spend time with us talking about uh, the fact that there's a workshop going on on, I believe the date is the 22nd of February at Norwood Hall in Southall in Ealing. And that workshop will focus specifically on 1984 uh, in terms of equipping people with tools and knowledge that they need to effectively go out and communicate the true essence of what actually happened in 84 and how we take that message forward in terms of the fact that we really need everyone to understand what actually happened, what the background was, and really kind of being able to communicate out to the world that this kind of thing should never happen again. But we also have to be very careful, as we've had to be careful from 1984 that it's been going ahead, is those people who are the detractors, who appear to be acting for us in terms of a positive sense, but actually that what we realize that the, what they are doing is actually negative and they are the pretenders. They were there when the Gurujis were there and that is why it is important to be open, to be transparent and go back to the Guru principles yeah, of, shall, shall we say, good thinking and being good men. Jimekande Kirt Karna, Vand Shakna and Naam Japna. What is Naam Japna? Naam Japna is getting together and celebrating the truth and in terms of Simran, in terms of Sangat, in terms of Seva. And those are the concepts we really do need to bring to the fore and then say, yes, we're aiming for excellence. And because there is a lot of excellence about and Guruji's were, were for all the time aiming for the ex excellence both in the temporal world but also in the spiritual world, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And that's what we really are going for. And taking Jime Akal Takht Mere Adda Ja Keme Vi Hega Guru Granth Sahib at the basis of it, to an extent, what we, we have been so woefully inadequate in actually explaining Akal uh, Maryada or just saying Sikh Rath Maryada, the document that took so many years to produce. They look at that collaboration that was there, wonderful. The, uh, what I would call it is the golden era of what you might call it the Singh Sabha movement that was going there in terms of the educational. Yeah, the Renaissance, the educational experience that were, we lost it after 1945, after 47 and whatever, to some extent. Apart from a few movements, there haven't been any there. And if you look at, in terms of the higher education, in terms of universities, in terms of the religious thoughts, in terms of poetry, in terms of actual Punjabi, in terms of Urdu or whatever moving forward, it's been done more overseas. It has not been done in Punjab for whatever reasons, and we need to ask ourselves what are the reasons. But to me, I don't see it as a problem. I think the flourishing in the Western diaspora of getting our professors in the universities, getting our professors in different departments, but now also both in the social sciences, the health sciences, and also the sort of arts as well, and the religious faculties, and the science and religion sort of coming together. It is a very important thing, and I think this is where Sikri and in terms of the Gurdwaras, we have to make the real inroads now and to say that we can actually do it. Because in terms of the educational field, we have a wonderful group of youngsters and young professors and whatever that are coming forward. But what we have not been able to do, and this is where we're lacking and I think that we do need to put our think tanks together to say, how do we get them together to say, building the new diaspora in terms of the educational field, taking the political theories forward that we have and how to deliver the dividend. So the so what question becomes not so what but when and what we are doing about it and how we're going to get that outcome. It's not a case of so what, it is guru centered thinking, Guruji is saying this is the Chardikala concept. Let's celebrate that concept and the concept may be, I mean Sikri were involved in a great project in showing the first Khalsa Raj and look Banda Singh Bahadurji, what he did, okay? Darshan with Guru Parsha with one day, Dasma Pasha, right? And look how many peoples he took, took forward, it's there at Havelock Road for people to see and what I do is whenever visitors come to Havelock Road, I take them first not to the beginning but to the letter written by those English agents who are writing back to the East India, I think it's the East India Company, isn't yes, it? Yeah. Right. And what he is saying, he's saying, look, in terms of martyrdom, 
Bandar Singh Bahadur Ji is there, he's held in prisons, but those young men, up to about a hundred a day, are martyred. And he said, to the last, not one of them have given up their newfound faith. I mean, look at that amazing transformation. Mm. But those people who had only taken over the Sikh faith in the last five or ten years or even three years or whatever, and what did they do? For Bandar Singh Bahadur, not just Bandar Singh Bahadur, for truth, for Guru, they're saying, we are happy to be martyred, we are happy to give up our lives. And the whole history, our Ardas, what is, where do we start yeah. our Ardas? Absolutely. Yeah? Yeah. Panji Pyare, oh he is again sacrificed. Jinna Singha Singhriya Ne Tarmhet Again, we are, we find it difficult to explain that and explain the spiritual ex uh, sort of strength, the, the magnificent strength that comes from our Ardas. Why? Because Guruji is showing us there and I think we are sort of asking for us to say, well, how can we take that message forward? And I think that we have to go back to Guru Granth Sahib Ji and saying, are we able to take that forward for our children in small steps and show them that part of that, the beginning is that, but hang on, there is a whole ocean there of the Amrit message. The Amrit message is there and can we really find that? And, you know, we've got lots of, you know, the newfound gurus or the new media showing how you relax in this Western world, yeah. how do you sort of get out of the rat race and this, that and the other. And Guruji's have encapsulated it all. But our weakness has been, our sort of weakness has been because we have not been able to take it out forward. And I think in small steps now, I think the projects that we're doing and the projects that Sukh, whatever, leading in the Gurdwaras and how we're doing that on the stage is actually to say that the Gurdwara is the central focus, right. but yet the, the terms of what we should be doing in Gurdwaras is the discussion we should be happening and say, yes, we do those programs of coming together, but we need to be able to understand what they really mean in the spiritual sense, and we need to be able to communicate that. I, I do like the idea of the discussion element because, uh, in one sense, uh, do you run a Gurdwara like an assembly that everybody turns up and, you know, one person is talking and they're all listening to it? Or is there an opportunity for dialogue so that the more you talk about things, the more yeah. you actually understand things? The, the, the dialogue is also very important to do there. And I think that what we've lost in the Gurdwara is the Bunga concept, the discussion okay. area. Yeah. Yeah. So where you take it out, the importance yeah. of the Saad Sangat and uh, Nitnam and prayers and so forth is vitally important. I, I would say one more thing that. We need to what, what we haven't done is being able to then take out the Bunga concept and where you go out into small groups and you're discussing it, and you're actually taking that forward. And we have a series of workshops, again, which Sikri is right. uh, sort of leading on for after school, school children afterwards to come yeah. there to actually have those kind of discussions. I, I would say one, one thing within that. I, I went to another Gurdwara uh, last year sometime, and they still continue to do their weekly you know, discussions. Mm. So the discussion is a good thing. Mm. My only worry would be, I'm not mentioning any names, is that I like making it up as I go along, you know, like, so you get all these people talking about things and they, oh, that's interesting, I think this is what, I think my interpretation is this, my interpretation is that, and there's no one sitting on top going back and saying, actually, this is what the interpretation really is, because Guru Granth Sahib says this, you've got somebody who's actually educated, who's able to, we used the word before, articulate, sure. articulate back to them and say, actually, when you're talking about spirituality, this is what we mean, sure. but, you know, otherwise, I'm not. I'm, I'm saying there is a point of self-discovery. Mm. You can't have. A, it, I think it's dangerous if people I, just kind of think it up as they go along. Before, I, before you know? I came along to Nassau, I'm a, I met with Dr. Garchal, um and the others in the in, in the Baj group. I was very kind of. Um, I was I was driven by the vision more than anything. Because uh, let's be quite honest about this: the Gurdwara is is, is our be all and end all. It, it should be our learning center. But what happened was quite scarily. It almost became. Apart from the learning center, the educational side went down one road and it just became a central worship, which is all fine. But you can only worship when you know the education, when you have the knowledge. On Jagyani Hani, and what are you bowing to? You know, ultimately it just became a, almost a self centered place where the Sikhs go and do puja. But puja of what? Puja the Jari and Delisi, Jari and the the discussion programs, the question and answer sessions, the seminars, they were missing from Agudwari. And because and, and ba we basically followed a trend from from um, uh, from Amritsar Sahib, Jitir Das Jilab Jilakeya, Ki Siriyam Masai Darshan Now, th this is the knowledge aspect of it. 
whilst every Sikh bows down to the Golden Temple, to Sri Harmandir Sahib, if he actually knew which Ishnan they were talking about, we wouldn't be going there and making the SGPC budget be so large and they wouldn't tell us that they're running in a deficit. So it was this educational aspect which was missing. So the point being is that whilst we worship the Gurdwara, whilst we worship Sri Guru Granth Sahib, the real worship of it is when you actually go into the darshan of it, the real Ishnan of it is when you actually learn about what the Guru is actually telling you and you're able to uh, work at Turmal Omer Pai, sit around in a table and actually have a good solid discussion about it. Now the, the, the aspect of it is that I saw which is a bit scary and um, I thank these people because I looked at their sort of vision and it was almost like, no, a Gurdwara wild system place of worship, it has to firstly be a, a learning center. Gurdwara Ayi Soji Pai see the Gurbani says this, you know. Pai Kudas Ji Ji says, Kakar Andar Taram Sal, Hove Kitan Sadava So we have that, we have the learning from the Gurbani so we can go back to our homes and we can make our homes a Gurdwara. So we can take the education out of it. Now, wild star religions always be kind of, um, almost targeted in terms of a, a Sanatan Mat or a sort of um, a prehistoric way of thinking, Stone Age way of thinking where faith is everything but you're only going to believe the faith is everything when you have the knowledge and knowledge is power, power is knowledge it's, it's two-handed you know or now if you keep saying that the, that the knowledge is great and I worship it but you don't actually want to know what the knowledge is and that is very dangerous and this is what I think was this is what happened in many Gurdwaras yeah. certainly in some Gurdwaras in the UK it, it happened in Southall for mm. years mm. it happened in Southall post 84 for years because our mindset and our, and our, and our, and our, and our school of thinking and uh, you could say our traumas were somewhere else we didn't know where to go back to now as um, Shumsir said and as Dr. Garja said yeah, now the, the 84 thing has to be Guru centered it has to be what does the truth of 84 if, it is, if we are to get any sort of justice in terms of it, it has to be in collaboration in the truth that the Guru tells us. Whilst there are many um, uh, sort of um, second or third or fourth stages with Nome Path, Shavale, Bai, Manji, and Sigiya, this also happens during the 1984. You have one Panthi committee, you have another Panthi committee. You have, you, have, you have one assembly point over here, you have another Shurumni Akali Dal, Amritsar, you have another Shurumni Akali Dal. It's always time to be basically replicating itself. Just like, just like you see a leader um, uh, going in a, in, in a white car to save himself, he'll have seven alike. Oh, you mean like a decoy? <laughs> yeah, and this is what happened in the Gurdwara. It was almost a point, like you said over there, making up on the spot. You've got one Prachari making on the spot. Now multiply 52 weeks, mm. that one Prachari goes on for one week. Now multiply him making up on the spot by 52 of them making up on the spot. How dangerous that would be. Yeah, and this is why it's, consist it's important to have consistent have consistent, knowledge cohesion, and also well researched. system in place, yeah. which is what Dr. Garch was talking about. Um, uh, ultimately, that system in place at the moment, it, it's none other than Sri Guru Granth Sahib. It will never be none other than Sri Guru Granth Sahib. To, to go hand in hand with that, we have the Pants, Sri Akal, Takhtarat, Murada. The only sad thing is those who are meant to implement it, those who are meant to actually police it, they're actually damaging it themselves, mm. which makes our life more difficult. But if anything, it makes us more stubborn to actually promote it. And that's the positive. So if, if we were to kind of use an expression, seek within, right? If we were to seek within ourselves and say, um, there are some things that we need to do. We need to be better educated. We need to have um, organizations out there that are well funded, that can do the research. Um, we need to get uh, close to the media to understand how they work and be able to communicate our message in a succinct manner in that 30 second sound bite. Then, then that means that kind of implies there should be a whole lot of programs in place um, that is structured. Or do you think it's, it's just emergent, you know, that the more of these we do, the more that we're like, actually, that's quite a good theme, well, we'll do another one on that. And that's quite, there's, there's a danger, in one sense, that you're randomly creating things without a consistent strategy or a mission. On another level, some decent knowledge is better than no knowledge. And on another level, um, it might inspire someone to go off and do more research. So when somebody comes to your workshop, they might say, actually, I really want to know more about this, and I really want Sabi, to take leadership on this. If you look, the research, a lot of it has been done. Right. What, we, what we haven't looked at, if you look at by these things, these words, we haven't translated them, a lot of them, haven't made them available. So a lot of Sikh scholars have done a lot of research. And, that, and if you look at the Chandigarh group, where they had done quite a lot of research in terms of rebutting some of the sort of anti-Sikh sort of thoughts that were coming through in terms of uh, looking at McLeod thinking or whatever and others that had uh, 
trouble is we're not bringing that to the fore and we're not able to bring it in a understandable way because is, some is of those we don't invest in it yeah no no we we have invested in it we have invested in their books and whatever but what we haven't made it available is available in the kind of discussion that we're having now yeah right, okay. make it simple make it straightforward and make the thinking there now i think the absolute rec prerequisite that we have is like Sikh Research Institute as the Singh Sabha movement is you ba base all studies on Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Now if there is a problem, if there's an issue with that, then we've got to say, well hang on, our primary resource is Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji and we know that if you look at it in terms of any kind of in, uh, sort of examination that you do, it stands up to construct uh, textual analysis by any of the world scholars of any other yeah. faiths. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So therefore, I think that we need to make sure that it is based there, but we need to make it simpler. We need to make it more available. We need to make it more available in the sound bites that we do for young children, like the program that we have there, basic for different age groups. And we have a lot of people who are doing a lot of good work even in the schools, uh, even in the Sunday schools, but again there, we need to make sure that the curriculum is consistent and the curriculum is standardized also in the Punjabi schools that we have. And that is a task for all of us together, based in Gurdwari, based in Sikh schools, based in other societies that we have. So but basically, just going back to that point, and based like Sikh Research Institute is doing, basing it on Guru Granth Sahib. And that is the important thing to understand and say, look, have we referenced it back? Yeah. If we reference it back, then we don't have an issue. Where we're not referencing it back, that's where sometimes the problems are arising. And that's why we need to be careful. So um, uh, we, can, we can learn a lot from uh, the Guru's methods of how they taught, how they engage with people. Uh, when I was growing up, the, a lot of the Sikhi education that I received was very top down. It was very, this is the way, this is the expert, um, and they're giving their uh, opinion and it becomes fact uh, and that's why we get a lot of this uh, mindset that's developing where we have a almost a cult-like following of individuals and, and numerous um, Saads and Babi have adopted this method of preaching and, and taken it to the nth degree. The Guru's method was always of dialogue, as always how can the Guru make the message, make the Guru's teachings relatable to the environment that you're living in. If you look at Asaki Var, it's all situational commentary, it's the Guru's observing practices taking place in front of him in his life and he's relating his teachings and his understandings to mm. to the his environment um, and the gurus do that consistently throughout their lives and it's all like I, I totally agree with um, Dr. Garcha that all of the resources that we have are there and we've had uh, incredibly ingenious Sikh scholars um, like Kapoor Singh and Puran Singh and Veer Singh and, um, to the extent that I would say to, uh, even to this day there's been very very few individuals that have been on that level there's been so much work done um, but we just need to bring those messages out in a way that's relatable using the Guru's model making this spiritual message this political message making it relatable within our communities we need to start looking at how we can address issues that affect our communities because that's what the Guru did the Guru when the Guru came, Guru Nanak came along he saw issues that were affecting society not sick issues like Sati was in a sick issue um, the caste system was in a sick issue well it may have become so today but at that time it wasn't a sick issue it was an issue that was affecting society so the Guru took his higher teachings and he used the vehicle uh, through which he conveyed those teachings even equality of men and women exactly yeah. those were issues that were affecting society and, and that's what the Guru's model was was how can he depart this divine teaching and if you look at the basic principle is if you're not fed if you're you're hungry what do you care about higher teachings so the Guru's message was always very practical and very relatable and I think that was perhaps Guru Nanak's greatest gift that he could communicate from emperors and diplomats all the way down to somebody who worked in the field yeah absolutely across the board he could communicate and um, we're um, talking at divine deep philosophical political ideas that perhaps you don't even understand the significance of them when they're being conveyed to you but when you put them into practice your entire life changes and that's what you see when you start not only worshipping Guru Granth Sahib but you start understanding the teachings and making them relevant in your life understanding not only the linguistic um, definitions but the cultural context in which the, they were written and how you can make them relatable to your life that's when you start seeing 
a transformation, like you're saying, in leaps and bounds, not only within your circle, but your entire community changes. And that's what you're saying as, as Sikhs, as humanitarians, that's one aspect of it, as political engagement, as uh, Dr. was saying, that's another aspect of it all these multifaceted approaches and that's what we need to do and, and all the resources are there this is why um, I'm so passionate about working with Sikri is because they're trying to become that bridge between those resources developing educational resources so that we can connect with all of these teachings and, and once you have the tools in place once you have the ability uh, it's like when you're excavating if you're an archaeologist if you've got a spade you're only going to get so far before you start damaging but once you've been given the toolkit and you, you've been explained the process you can be left alone to go out there and find your own way and, and I think that's that's something that we really need to start focusing and developing those competencies within our community that we can all then become those engagers, those educators, those visionary leaders and we can start giving birth to a generation of Kapoor Singhs and Puran Singhs because I mean th those guys got into the top world universities when it was difficult um, and we can we can certainly build upon their teachings and, and that's what we learned from the gurus. Every single guru was progressive. They took the original vision of Guru Nanak and built and built and built upon it. They built a state within a state. They went from uh, it's, uh, um, Guru Nanak's uh, model as a solitary preacher all the way to Guru Gobind Singh Ji who had, uh, who had solidified the nation that and, and Guru we are Nanak they've envisioned. And we are not doing it in isolation. We are not doing it in a cave. We are not hermits. Exactly. We're, we are in society. We are you know, practicing. We are living a life religion. with family as well. Uh, so we have all the resources. I mean, at the Gurdwara um, in Southall, we've got absolutely fantastic resources. Um, and it's just, it's just about basically doing a lot of work now that needs to be done. There's a lot of legwork that needs to be done now. And, and there are some fantastic organizations doing some great work. And, um, and Sikri is one of them. And, and we, just need to get, we just need to continue doing what we're well, doing, yeah, basically. So we, we've come to uh, the end. <laughs> we've, got a, we've just got a few minutes left. We're going to attempt to try and summarize some of the points that have been brought out today. Um, there's a great workshop going on. It's going to be 22nd of February in Norwood Hall. What time does it start? Um, so it, uh, it starts at 9:30 a.m. Um, and it, uh, registration begins at 9 and it goes on until 4:30 p.m. There's a website called um, Engaging with 1984.eventbrite.co.uk. Yes, that's the one. Um, that's the registration link, and all the details are available on um, Sikri's Facebook page, which is uh, facebook.com forward slash Sikh Research Institute, and Twitter, which is at Sikri Sikh R I. So it's S I K H R I, isn't it? That's the one. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so, so so some of the things that we've spoken about today: important to be consistent, important to actually not make it up as you go along, have some guidance, uh, good opportunity for Gurdwaras to uh, become that uh, kind of environment where people can get mm. to discussion, center they point. can learn more, center sure. point, that's a nice, nice term. Um, there's also an opportunity to have run more of these events so that people can be get better educated. There's a separate issue that we have associated with the go-to people that the media go to, um, go to, go to, uh, and I guess that's a separate thing that needs to be addressed, but, you know, I think hopefully, you know, like the interview that they had with you, uh, Dr. Garcia, that, that, was a, that was a great one. They'll come back again and again to people that they, because that's what the press want. Look up. They want a reliable source that can give the 30 seconds. No, no, you no. Know. The, the Gurdwara is in us, really. If we are participating, that is the Gurdwara, because we're going to our Guru again. And if we can base that, and I think part of the discussion that we're having is very good, and I think Sikri that are doing it, we are planning more events later on this year, 23rd, mm -hmm. there'll be a lecture. I think Harinder Singh is coming over as well. Yeah, yeah. he's coming over. So yeah. we're looking at those and we really want to take this forward and working with other organisations, both in the educational, social, sports field. And that's what we all want to do. And I think one of the things that we can really look at is having discussions like this, taking it forward, bringing young people along, young men and women. And, and older people, it doesn't and have to be young people. people. You know, but in the political yeah. field, this is where we are this is where we want our representation to take place because in the end that's where we're going to make the difference. We've only got uh, just literally seconds left but if we were to say in this 30th um, um, unfortunate uh, anniversary of uh, 1984 of all the terrible things that happened in June and November if we were to if I would give you like 10 seconds to an unfair uh, 20 seconds where do we keep this how do we keep this momentum going uh, through the rest of this year and as I said before I don't see it as being we've got to this point I see it as a continuum, just like you know some of the other unfortunate holocausts that have happened. You know, it's it's something that re resides in people's minds, so that they, this kind of thing shouldn't happen again. Where do we have that? How do we keep the momentum going? Do we do we go and walk through to Trafalgar Square again for the 30th year, 
Is there any more that we can do? You know. So there's got to be. I'll give you for 20 seconds each. There's got to be a plan B. This program, all basically every single point that was came in this program. Look at the core competencies of our, of our kids. Build upon that. Now, when you've got the when you've got our youth going forward, when you've got them educational educationalized in today's system in the in the Western world, when you've got them knowing about the Gurbani, the 1984 issue will be going to the masses itself. So you've got them in higher sectors, you've got them in public sectors, private sectors, you've got them as civil servants. Now they will carry the 1984 bandwagon in itself, and they'll carry it in a much more articulate way because their basic foundation is very, very solid. So we just build on workshops like this and let the momentum take over Absolutely. in the years to come. Well, what about you? What do you think, Shamshir? Um, I think, uh, like, uh, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King said, if you can crawl, walk or run, just keep moving forward. I don't think there's anything we can do to stop the momentum. I think that's an important question. Um, it's going to happen. There's events that are occurring organically, student organizations in this country and across the, the globe, wherever there is sick population, are going to be doing events that, uh, because it's such an important year. I personally don't like the term anniversary because to me I can't translate it into a sick context. So it's for me it's 30 years since the attack and there's going to be a continuing momentum. There's nothing we can do to stop it. I mean, the events like this are, are just the beginning. They're just going to continue happening. And, and we've got to see how, how can we be involved is the question really. What do you, what do you think, Dr. Karcher? Oh, basically, look, I, I think what we need is talk lovingly, talk with humility, go back to Guru Granth Sahib Ji. If we can do that, I'm sure that we will succeed. I don't think we have any issue. And look at the concept of Chardikala and bring us all together. Because That's even if we have our differences, let's air them in a nice way with talking with Nimrata, being able to listen to each other's point of view, and then say, what is our real goal what is our real aim let's agree the agenda absolutely so that's it this uh, particular week for the show thanks a lot for tuning in i'd say thank you very much to dr karcher and uh Sukhdeep singh and shimshir singh uh, from sikri uh, dr karcher and uh, Sukhdeep singh from uh, sgss over in southall uh, i've been a host this time around hopefully we had some dialogue and we inspired you to go out and learn more uh, attend the event the details as we said earlier on rewind and see what time that is uh, it's um, at 9.30 uh, on the 22nd of February, uh, engaging with 1984.eventbrite.co.uk or you can go to Facebook page uh, forward slash sickery uh, from facebook.com. So that's it for this time around and I'll just leave you with one message, uh, one of my favorite songs from uh, Lali Schifrin. Uh, it's a very much a strong uh, kind of statement from uh, the times of apartheid uh, and the song was called uh, Something Inside So Strong and I think that's probably something we all need to bear in mind, be strong uh, and be out there to uh, reveal the truth and seek the justice that we can all get. Why did you get Khalsa? Why did you get Fateh?